What's up guys? Welcome back to the Tenorshare channel. To use iMessage or FaceTime, you need to activate them on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. For some reason, you could run into an error like this during the process, indicating the activation is not successful. In this tutorial, we'll go over the most effective solutions for this issue. So, let's dive in. This usually has to do with network issues, so the first step we recommend is check your network status. If you have 5G Wi-Fi, use 5G. Then open Safari and see if you can load Apple.com smoothly. If not, try connecting to another network or use cellular data instead if none of the Wi-Fi works. Then what we gonna do is go to the apps using our network and allow FaceTime access to our data. A more powerful way to fix the network issue is go to Settings, General, Reset, and Reset Network Settings. Once your phone restarts, Connect to a network and try activating your iMessage or FaceTime again. Another device settings could affect the activation is your time zone. So let's go to general, data and time, and make sure your time zone is accurate. Moving on, the next quick fix is restart your iMessage and FaceTime. In settings, iMessage, find the iMessage toggle and turn it off. And then, turn it back on. For FaceTime is just the same. Toggle it off then back on. For all the changes to take full effect, you can give your phone a fresh restart. For iPhone 10 or later, is press and quickly release the volume up, then press and quickly release the volume down, then press and hold the side button. Let it go when you see the Apple logo. Next, let's go to general, software update, and make sure our software is up to date. As we know, it might take up to 24 hours to complete the activation, especially when the Apple server is a little bit busy. So sometimes all you have to do is wait for a couple of hours. If the issue still persists for you, Reboot would be a nice solution. Here, let's see how it works. Open it up on your computer. Plug the phone in. On the home screen, click Start. We'll be on the standard repair by default, which is a no data loss option. Let's go on. Download the firmware to a location we prefer. And then, we can start repairing. All we have to do is stay on a stable network and keep the phone attached during the process. Well done. Now you can try activating iMessage and FaceTime from scratch. So guys, this is how you can fix the message and FaceTime activation issue. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. See you.